Aaron, you clearly weren't able to accomplish your ultimate goal. How do you process not only the season coming to an end, but at the hands of the Astros in four? Um, it's an awful day. Just an awful, awful ending. Um, it always stings. It hurts. Um, no one I'd rather do it with than those guys in there and how much, how together they are. So, you you know, kind of lean on each other in there. But the ending, you know, as I've said before, it's cruel. Um, so much goes into it and trying to climb to that top of the mountain. And, you know, unfortunately, we haven't been able to get there yet. And it continues to... You know, I know it'll continue to motivate everyone in there to to try and get there. You know, that's that's what you work for, and you know, don't take for granted the opportunity you have sitting in front of you. And uh, but the ending, the ending's terrible. You generally address the team when the season comes to a close. What did you feel like it was important for you to tell them or for them to hear from you? Um, just grateful to do it with them, um, you know, acknowledge, you know, you know, unfortunately many of us have felt this feeling together that not getting all the way there and having this ending, um, and it never gets easier. Um, you know, you try to put it in perspective and with, you know, obviously, you know, families and health and things like that and re tr real tragedies out there. You try to have that perspective, but you understand, um, you know, keenly what everyone is feeling right now in, in that room. So, uh, you know, you try and reflect a little bit on it and, you know, also hopefully allow it to be another log on the fire that creates that burn and motivation heading in the off season that you want to be on that stage. You want to be playing for, for all of it. And you got to keep fighting for it. Uh, Brendan standing on your right, Aaron. Aaron, the first time you went out to check on Nestor, was that the groin and how is he now? I mean, he's all right. He's all right. Um, he actually did it. Um, I think in this bullpen in his first start against Cleveland, um, it wasn't as significant as when he went on the IL earlier in the year, but, um, and he actually pitched through, through it well with that game. Then obviously came back on three days rest and was good, uh, was good today. And then, you know, you know, I think he had, um, you know, I, I don't think he was in pain or anything like that. Um, but he just, you know, we noticed all of a sudden, you know, the downtick in velocity and more importantly, the command, because because there's times when he'll drop in velocity and, and that's not a big red flag. But obviously walking two guys in a row there, um, you know, unfortunate. And, you know, the bullpen came in and was terrific and, and gave us a gave us a chance there. But, um, yeah, feel feel bad for for Nestor. Uh, Dan, standing, uh, sitting, seat on your right, Aaron. Just to go back to that, Aaron, you so you guys went out, and did he just convince you that he was okay and that he would be able to get through that? Yeah, he said he said he's fine. Um, so we've, you know, kind of talked through. The, I mean, we've been dealing with this on different levels for a couple months. So, kind of, yeah, he he said he was fine, and then you know, you know obviously wasn't quite fine enough given the result do, do you kind of look back on that and can maybe wish you had gone with your gut and, and pull them there i mean we're so up against it there like if you you know going out with a trainer we feel like he's sound no i'm not going to just pull him out of the game because he you know isn't perfect so once we felt like he was sound uh you know obviously you know the homer and you know so but you, you you don't just automatically pull pull guys in the middle of the second or third inning when you know you feel like they're sound. Uh, John standing on your right. Obvi obviously, a sweep doesn't look good at the end. Uh, how how close do you feel that you guys are, and uh, do you have any regrets at all about the postseason? 
you know, not close enough. You know, they, they beat us. Um, um, you know, I guess, you know, and we end up second in the American League. Um, you know, we gotta, we gotta keep working to get better. You know, obviously we had some key contributors, um, missing that, you know, I think would have been difference makers for us potentially. Um, but, but then again, everyone has to deal with the, those things on some level. Um, so it's, you know, frustrating. Uh, Joel standing on your right. Uh, Aaron. You mentioned that having gone through this with a lot of the same guys now, uh, the this end game. Do you think that the group is missing something that could help win at this time of year? Because you essentially are having very similar postseasons, who you're able to beat and who you're not able to beat year after year. I mean... I think we have a lot of the right ingredients in there. I think we ha I think, look, I think we're a few really impactful people that weren't able to play in this postseason that would have potentially been a real difference. So I don't want to, so I do feel like we have a lot of those people in that room. You know, we, we got thinned out a little bit by injury. Again, everyone's got to deal with that. Um, but I think there were some significant. So every year is a little bit different in what exactly you have. Where are you from a health standpoint? Those things very much matter. Um, but you're always searching to try and get better and be more complete and be more um, excellent in in every scenario against potentially every opponent. So... I mean, you're always trying to work to get there, and sometimes it lines up better than others. Sometimes you're kind of grinding at the finish. Uh, Andy, standing on your right, Aaron. Aaron, you talked, um, you talked to the end of last season about how important it was for the club to improve, and obviously this year was better than last year, but is it disheartening at all to end this way and see the gap still between your club and Houston? Yeah, it's awful. That's what I said. I mean, this is as bad as it gets. Um, again, though, I, I, I mean, and I, because you got everyone's got to deal with their stuff. You're like, I, I, I think we're a few really significant pieces in there that weren't weren't healthy players or are hurt. That maybe it's a different, little bit of a different story. Um, uh, but you, you get back on the horse and try and try and put yourself in the best position to, to be successful. And, and, you know, the, the grind of the season sometimes puts you in a great position. Sometimes it, it makes it more challenging. Um, there's attrition that happens throughout the year that you got to deal with. Um, so, uh, you know. You know, at this point in time, right now, that you know we got beat by a better team right now, and you know that's that's the reality of it. And they're clearly setting the mark in this league. Um, you know that that we're aspiring to get to. A couple last ones, Christy in the left center aisle. The season began with Aaron Judge talk about his contract. Um, could you just say how you feel about what his season was like? And the possibility that you watched his last game in pinstripes tonight. Incredible. Um, just just an incredible season. And, you know, someone that I've grown close with and just admire and respect. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll see him in pinstripes for a long time. I don't even want to think about the alternative right now. Um, but... You know, he's he means a lot to a lot of us in that room. He'll finish up with Ron up front. Another Aaron question. For someone whose performance clearly in the postseason wasn't up to what he and you expect, 
Did he put himself, from what you saw, just the burden of carrying the group? What do you say to him? I don't, I don't know. I mean, that's – I mean, it's baseball, man. I mean, <laughs> it happens all the time where the greatest of greats go through, you know, a struggle for – and a lot of times that's just the timing of, you know, it. it, it, it I say it all. It's, it's a game of failure. And, you know, you're going to have – you're going to have some ups and downs and, um, you know, so I, I, I think that's too easy to run to. He felt the burden of carrying. I think he was just a little bit off. You know, I think his timing was a little bit off uh, and that could be for a number of reasons, you know, in the end it could be, it was baseball. Aaron, thanks a lot. Appreciate it.